then I think we can start. Hello, dear friends, and welcome. Over the last few years, I've seen consumers taking care about what they eat and drink, and they are more concerned about their health. We need to understand the preferences of the new generation. But what is more important is to push the preferences of the new is to push the preferences of the new generation to bring coffee and to use it as it is. Today, I will explain how taste perception is influenced by glucose. And now, I will extract the espressos for my signature beverage. And welcome back. And now, we are really excited to introduce our eighth competitor of this year's Paris Championship, representing South Korea, Dong Hwang Woo! Many years ago, I've met one of the most important persons of my life, and he told me he's a diabetic. After years of living with him, I realized that the perception of flavor of a person is totally different according to what we are eating, especially when we are using less sugar in our daily life. We all drink coffee, but we never question how the coffee interacts with our body. And here comes some really nice information that I found by making a research on how glucose from each beverage affects our tasting perception. First, let me tell you that glucose is our body's favorite source of energy. So, carbohydrates are the nutrients used as fuel. Plants build carbohydrates using light energy from the sun during photosynthesis. In the fermentation process of the coffee, these carbohydrates break down in order to create new flavors. And also in the roasting phase, they break down once more. And I will tell you more as we go. My vision as a professional barista is to teach my customers what a coffee experience is, but also how the insulin spikes affects our tasting perception. Our experience starts with a journey to a farm in Colombia, region Quindío, located at 1,800 meters. The temperatures at the farm ranges between 17 and 25 degrees. This will allow the trees to push 50% more of the sugar in the cherries during production. Sebastian Ramirez, the owner of El Placer, harvests the cherries 95% ripe and 5% semi-ripe at a specific target of bricks in order to bring out more sugars. Whole geisha cherries are then placed to ferment anaerobically in a 200 liter tank kept at a very stable temperature of 18 degrees, with CO2 injection for 48 hours. The temperature of this carbonic maceration breaks down less of the sugar, and we can enjoy a sweeter cup with fruity and intense character that you will experience like stone fruits. The drying process is divided into stages. First, the chalice are left in a solar drying patios for five days, but before they, they are put in a green, green solar system that has a mineral pole heating system to maintain a very stable temperature of 14 degrees with 25% humidity to slow down the fermentation. The result is a clean cup. In my espressos, you will get flavors of peach, mint, Belgian chocolate, with long-lasting and pleasant aftertaste of pink grapefruit. We 
with a medium plus texture and juicy finish. On the menus in front, you have all the information, so please feel free to check them. My recipe is 22 grams in to extract 50 out at 92 degrees. This temperature highlights the best, uh, the best balance together with my distribution tool and temping setting. First, please evaluate the crema, but don't drink it yet. Please wait for my instructions. Now, does espresso affect our blood sugar? Well, in my research, we did not get any spikes. Actually, it lowered our blood sugar, as you can see on the chart. The glucose level is on the baseline, here. Now, please, steer six times with the same protocol as you would break the crust in a cupping. As it cools down, it gives a better taste experience. Please enjoy it. The small cups is for your spoon. For my meal beverage, I'm always trying to recommend to my customers not to use sugar. Studies show that caffeine is an energy booster. But when we consume coffee and we add sugar, it will actually increase our insulin production. And it will lower our energy level. Now coming back to my milk beverage, by using freezing distillation milk, you will get a rich and sweet beverage without having any of the spikes in the blood sugar. As you can see on the chart, there, there is the comparison between the milks. So by increasing, by increasing fat and protein level, it actually lowered our glad, blood sugar. compared to a skimmed or plant-based milk. Dear judges, in my milk beverage you'll get flavors of melted vanilla ice cream, butter biscuit, with long pleasant finish of vanilla. The temperature of the milk will be around uh, 50 degrees because I want to unlock the flavor of the vanilla. Roasting this coffee has been a challenge to create the perfect link up. My roaster used a long soak with a very little power in the end to balance the flavor. This coffee was roasted 10 minutes with 15% development ratio 10 days ago. The low intensity in the first crack gave us the best flavor and also a balanced acidity. Please, 
enjoy it by steering five times. Please enjoy. Please enjoy it. Please enjoy it. Please enjoy it. Remember, I was telling you earlier how the insulin production affects our blood sugar and our tasting perception. My team and I, we all had glucose monitor sensor measuring our blood sugar for three months. We did a lot of studies and researches about this subject. And whenever we had, we did, and whenever we, we had consumed sugar and other ingredients, we had very, uh, like, the taste perception was very bad. Like, we couldn't feel the subtle flavors of the coffee. So, dear friends, for my signature beverage, I will not be adding any sugar or ingredients that will boost your blood sugar. Today, in, my, in this magnetic stirrer, I place my two double shots of espresso at 70 degrees Celsius. The water evaporates with a rate around 0.25 grams per minute. By using this technique, helps me evaporate the water content, leaving on behind the solid and concentrated compounds. This will give my coffee an intense flavor. For my next ingredient, I, I use the lacto-fermented blueberry reduction. In a jar, I place 200 grams of blueberry with four grams of salt at room temperature for five days. Studies have shown that the blueberry reduction helps lower the glucose. So, together with my coffee, we'll give a new flavor of dark cherry. For the other ingredient, I'm using monk fruit sweetener. This sweetener gets its intense sweetness from the unique antioxidant called mocroside. Therefore, monk fruit sweetener does not contain any glucose or fructose. And I made a reduction with 100 grams of monk fruit with 400 grams of strawberries. In Thank you. In the, in, um, sorry. I made this reduction with 400 grams of strawberry and helps me intensify the new flavor of lavender. This device helped me cool down my beverage. Dear judges, you'll get flavors of lavender, dark cherry, long pleasant aftertaste of Belgian chocolate, and also blackberry.
enjoy it. Please enjoy. Please enjoy it. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Time. <laughs>